75 watt 24 volt panel for the 17 foot bowler. It measures approximately 32 inches by 62 inches. Uh, the vents on the top are a little too close together, so I'll have to spread them apart a bit, but that's not a big deal at this stage of the operation. So this in conjunction with an MPPT controller, and it'll be pretty much the same setup as my little trailer. Over the last year there, I've just been looking for stuff on eBay and Kijiji, the local buy-sell thing. Uh, so I've got my battery monitor, my XBM. This will all be rigged up so it'll monitor my solar and my battery charging from my regular charger. This will essentially be the same setup as my little trailer. <coughs> I did find this Sunsaver 10 charge controller, but it's for 12 volt, so I can only use a 12 volt panel. So essentially a panel that's put, usually putting out around 17 volts. You need 17, 18 volts to roughly in around there to charge a 12 volt battery. Now, as it turns out, I got a smoking hot deal on a 175 watt panel, which is 24 volts. So I won't be able to use the charge controller with that, but I have other plans for this now. I'll probably rig up something for an electric trolling motor to charge a battery in a boat. So we'll put that aside, put that in the tickle trunk. Essentially what I'm going to need to operate that 24 volt panel to charge my 12 volt system is something like this Sunsaver MPPT controller which is on the setup in my little trailer. So in my little trailer I do have two 12 volt panels but they are hooked in series so essentially they're charging it as a 24 volt unit uh, at 160 watts. Now this new setup with just the one panel, 24 volt panel at 175 watts, they're roughly the same, it'll be a bit bigger but it should operate roughly the same. So you do need this the MPPT uh, to be able to convert, especially with this controller, because I think it can charge a 12 volt battery at a nominal 36 volts, if I'm not mistaken. I'll post a link there to the Arizona Wind and Sun forum where I was asking my questions. So, um, solar power isn't second nature to me, so I always have to think it through and ask questions and take it from there. In regards to this Sunsaver, it's been in I guess a couple of years now, but it's worked flawlessly. It's, uh, you know, it's constantly doing its job. So I'm very, very pleased with it. Bulletproof essentially. As it stands right now when I have it up here between the vents, you can see, you can see I've got about an extra eight inches here or so I'll have to contend with. So I'm just going to have to move, either move that vent down or move both vents a bit. We'll have to see. I've got the curvature of the roof I have to contend with too. Not a big deal. I'll figure out something for that. Probably have to put some kind of curved spacer on top to compensate. No big deal. Now the nice thing is I can do this now because the trailer is gutted. If your trailer isn't, well, it make it a little more difficult for sure. So that gives you an idea there from the side. And the nice thing in was that being only 32 inches wide, I think it's going to fit on that ridge there just nice. It'll be, uh, you might have a hard time even knowing it's up there once it's mounted. From the angle I'm holding the camera, I can't quite tell. But I think that's even a little wee bit smaller than the actual width of that ridge. So I think that'll work out nice. <laughs> 